High-profile protesters now face multiple criminal charges, among them Jake Angeli of Arizona, accused of unauthorized entry of a restricted area. Adam Johnson of Florida is charged with theft of government property. Woo! And West Virginia State Representative Derek Evans, who filmed his protest, resigned Saturday after he was charged with violent entry and disorderly conduct. A senior law enforcement official tells CBS News investigators are exploring why some individuals brought weapons and zip ties that can function as plastic handcuffs. Two viable 12-inch metal pipe bombs found Wednesday at the Democratic and Republican National Committee headquarters near the Capitol are described by law enforcement as taking their probe to the next level. The pipe bomb is designed to kill or maim. Scott Sweeto is a former ATF and FBI explosives expert. Particularly if it's made out of metal, which is what the construction appears to be with these two devices. A law enforcement analysis reviewed by CBS shows both devices used mechanical timers and contained an unknown powder. The FBI is seeking information about this individual and offering a $50,000 reward. What do these devices tell us about coordination and possible premeditation? It takes quite a bit of time to manufacture devices like these. It's not something that you're just going to throw together in a few minutes in your garage. The flags at the Capitol are still at half staff in honor of U.S. Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick, who died on Thursday from injuries he sustained in the riot. The 42-year-old New Jersey native who served in Iraq only to be killed defending the Capitol. The U.S. attorney has opened investigations into Sicknick's death as well as the Air Force vet killed Wednesday at the Capitol.